Prior to using Registration Wizard to register a new student, EMIS situation and admission reason are required to have a valid selection on the registration default screen. These can be set at the district or building level. If any of these values are missing, you will receive a message to let you know what fields are still required. Once that is completed, you can use the registration wizard to register the student. On the first tab, the registration prerequisites tab, the required fields are first name, last name, birth date, gender, and grade. The age of the student automatically populates when their birth date is added. Then just click Next. On the Possible Matches tab, student information will find a non-strict match if the first initial of the student's first name and last name, birth date, and gender all match an existing student in the district. Student information will only find a strict match if a Social Security number or EMIS ID matches an existing student in the district. If either match is returned, users should view the data to determine if the records are the same student. If a match is not returned, users will be taken to the Complete Registration tab. Fields on the screen may be automatically populated based on the registration defaults. The required fields are starred in red on the screen. If any of the required fields are left blank, a warning message will display at the top of the page when the user clicks Next or Finish. If a user doesn't have access to family groups or EMIS data, these tabs will not appear in the wizard and the Finish button should be selected to complete the student registration. If a user has access to family groups, the Family Groups tab will display. Users can select to search by family group name or family group criteria. If any family groups match the search criteria, those will be in the grid. Select the checkbox of the correct family group and Next to proceed to the EMIS tab. On the EMIS tab, the EMIS situation will be populated based on what is entered on the registration default screen and can be updated at this time if necessary. Other data on the EMIS tab is optional. Click Finish to complete registration for the student.